Yo, what's up, my name is Tori Blue. In this video, we're gonna be talking about April 8th. So currently it's April 6th, 8.52 p.m. for me. I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. Uh, I can't really say where I'm at, but I'm in the middle of nowhere. I've been here for like an hour. I've been outside for like an hour. Oh, and uh, yeah, I cut my hair. I, uh, if you guys have been watching, you know that I cut my hair. And uh, well, I had a long cut my hair and then you guys didn't know that I, I had a little bit longer than this and then I cut it again now it's like this length but anyways it's like a safe wraith people are saying the solar eclipse is gonna be bad some people are saying it's good some people are saying don't use glasses because the uvs are good for you uh uvs is people say getting exposed to the sun there's a lot of theories about if you're exposed to the sun especially like black people right you see black people and i've heard that black people are like the people of god um like chosen ones or something and black people right black people have a lot of like they're just gifted like athletically and it's crazy right and i didn't tell you this but i've heard multiple theories so the more uv you get right the more sun you get also don't overexpose yourself and cook yourself but if you guys get enough your shmeat can be a little bit longer another thing i've heard that if you just let it hang I'll get longer I don't know because there's no way for me to test that right how am I gonna do that I'm, I can't go back years and try that I don't got other lives and supposedly the end is near maybe seven more years um, all right let me just try to keep this up a little bit my arm is kind of tired but yeah so they talk about all these things and I'm over here like one well, now right oh anyways uh, April 8th I forgot we were talking about that I have something to do on April 8th. Supposedly where I'm supposed to be at, it's gonna hit for like two hours. And an hour before that, I have to go somewhere and I'm probably gonna be there for 40 minutes and the drive is probably gonna be like 30 minutes. So I'm gonna try to get there early. Hopefully it gets done earlier and I could stay home. Because who knows, people are saying that, you know how like there's that like mental thing or like the virus thing or something where like you see people that are like deformed they look like aliens or something and they're saying it's like some medical thing okay people are tripping like why is it that all of a sudden that thing happens all right we had 2020 where they try to do the whole pandemic and then we got shots and then and like it, it was all a test right we always have test runs we have the wars we have the like what else what, what else is it um it's like the panics right the panic attack of like 2012 like oh the world's gonna end 2012 whatever and uh, there's been like well people are saying that all these theories are like like don't listen to them but sometimes you got to think about it because there's this map that says where in the u.s is in the flood it's better to move to middle states that's usually where it's not really gonna flood and i'm not in the middle states we're gonna put that out there so we gotta move to the middle states and I gotta move everyone, move the family. Gotta get the money, cause that kind of just uh, some something has happened. And uh, something I'm just gonna put in right here: wisdom teeth. They say never get it removed because wisdom, you you get more energy, spiritual energy, a whole bunch of other things, right? They said. Anyways, uh, we we'll probably talk about this some other day. Uh, but I don't know. They say that if you have them, you have to get them removed, cause you know sometimes they grow crooked, they don't grow straight. Uh, sometimes you can get them removed and you can still have the ability to ascend, transcend the energy or something. Uh, but yeah, so uh, anyways, April 8th is saying that those people are going to show up and it's going to be normal. Like you should, like you're just tripping basically. People are going to look weird and, and you're just tripping. But in reality, you're not. Those people are monsters, right? And it's weird because if you go to work, and they say that you feel a certain type of way. Like if you're already draining that work and you see these monsters, they might suck up some energy. Or I don't know if it was that or it's like, you're just gonna be tripping more. You're for sure not gonna want to be there. So it sucks if you're working a regular job. So that means every single day you're going in and you're seeing these people, these monsters. And now you don't even wanna, act, like you don't wanna interact with them even if you have before, because you see who they are and they know it. Like now they know it. It's being like allowed. I just think this is a little bit crazy. And I'm sorry that I didn't post this video earlier because I was kind of like, what's the point? 
why am I gonna post it? But right now I recorded something. And yeah, um, I was like, you know what? I should make this public. So I started recording this video. Um, this is the only video I'm gonna make about this, I think. Uh, the next few videos might be a little bit different. You guys know I post one time a week and those videos are me with longer hair because they're older videos. So um, pretty soon, maybe in the month, you guys will see me with short hair again. And uh, join the Discord if you guys want to. We talk there. We're from all over the world. I mean, there's a few of us, but different places. Um, I shouldn't say all over the world because there's not that many people, but the people there are cool. They want to do their own thing, have their own business. Uh, some want to do social media. I've had personal conversations with them. Very interesting. All I'm saying is don't be your friend. Don't, don't be afraid. If you guys are afraid of the end times, then you're kind of tripping because they say when you die, you're not dead. Just the flesh leaves and you still have your spirit. And in the, in the next life, it's the perfect life, basically. The next earth, it's nothing but peace. No pain, nothing bad at all. But, uh, I thought the guy was bad. There was this dude that was like passing by. But, uh, yeah, so, anyways, uh, yeah, in the next life, everything is perfect. And uh, no pain, nothing, everything good. And everyone that like didn't make it, they don't go to hell because supposedly hell doesn't exist. Uh, God loves you so much that he doesn't want you to suffer for eternity. So you're just gonna disappear. Now those people that didn't make it to heaven, they're gonna disappear from your mind. It's like they never existed, which is pretty sad, right? Because it goes to show you like, it, it's just weird because like you have your family, you might have kids, mom dad brother sister uh, a loved one and it's like they never existed and it makes you kind of sad because it's like dang my whole life i spent with them and then boom it's like they never existed it gets pretty sad sometimes things get dark and it's like i like one now but yeah, April 8th, supposedly the eclipse is going to happen. They say that three days in some areas is going to be pitch black. Um, prophecies are coming true. Get yourself a Bible. I actually just bought like a lot of books. Old Testament, New Testament. I just need to get the Bible. And uh, like, I, I think I found a version I want to buy. But yeah, get a Bible. Start reading it. And just think about what the Bible says. And think about what the governments have told you. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Don't be afraid. Be happy. Just live your life. But try preparing. Have a, what's it called? A potassium iodine? 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 Something like that. It's basically like for radiation. If you, if there's radiation or if you hurt, hear about it, pop that pill, you'll be saved. Uh, I don't know how long it lasts, but you should try to protect yourself. Leave that area. Have like a pocket knife have emergency blankets uh a portable charger hand crank radio a, a portable charger that's a hand crank radio uh a light uh water purifiers um maybe air purifiers if you guys can solar panels that aren't loud uh what are called generators that aren't loud um try to make the portable too there's some that fold that can charge your phones and stuff like that have this phone protector i forgot what it's called but it's like a bag you put your phones in so it doesn't break i it, it's mad depressing sometimes you know because it's like you don't know when the world is gonna end it could end tomorrow it can end next week and we're so caught up with this materialistic world that we just want everything, right? At the time of this recording, I have, I've spent a lot of money and I've bought in things that aren't necessarily like 
the best or the newest, but I'm happy with it. Like, I'm happy with it. And it sucks that if the world ends, it's I'm not going to have it. Hopefully, I do have all the good memories and they're like stuck in my mind and or in the spirit. And hopefully, well, they say that once you make it to heaven, all the sins are forgiven. They disappear. So hopefully, and no one has to see all the bad things that I've done since God has seen me. And it's pretty embarrassing. I have changed uh, so far for the better. I try not to fall back into sin. They say if you see sin, run from it. That's the easiest way to avoid it. Um, what else? Uh, just don't be afraid, man. Have your loved ones. Oh, get a pack of seeds. Get, like, seeds. Uh, what else? I don't know. I should get that bag, though. That I was telling you guys for the phone. I'm, I think I'm going to just buy another phone and keep it in there with, like, good storage. I think I'm going to use this one that I'm using right now. Because I love this phone. It's nice. It's not the best, like, cameras on it. But, you know, it's nice. It's beautiful. Anyways, I think that's it. Uh, I don't think I got anything else to say. Make sure to join Discord. Show God the beauty of its creations. This is Toward Blue. And remember, it's all for you. It's all for you. Ooh.